In this video, we're going to create a form and use it for adding records to a database using the Django framework. In these videos for the Django series, I'll start by showing the completed code in case you need to come back and review it later, and then we'll write the code from scratch. Now in this tutorial, I've already created a website as demonstrated in previous videos that allows me to display a list of veterinarians from a database. Now I want to create a form that allows me to add veterinarians to a database table. If you haven't already set up a web page that lists the veterinarians, then please see the link in the video description below and get that done first. All right, let's start off by looking at the completed code. So looking over here, we're going to have a, corresponding with this page, a addvet.html page. And it's a basic HTML form with a couple of exceptions. We have a couple Django specific commands right here. This one is going to replace um, the text here with a path that's associated with veterinarians. Um, and we'll look at that in the urls.py file later. Um, this is a little command that's good for avoiding hackers. Um, this right here is the first name and last name fields that will be sent over when we do a form post or when we hit the submit button. Now for every page that we display on a web page we, or on a website, we have to have a corresponding view in Django. And so looking down here, we have a vet, add veterinarian page view. And this is the command that displays the HTML page. I'll come back to this other one in a minute. Um, so coming down here, here is the urls.py file where we list the path, meaning if they type in the URL, forward slash, in this case, advet for ad veterinarian, it's going to run the ad veterinarian page view function. And these little things over here on the side that we always have with paths are used for dynamically creating URLs in our Django template pages. And so if I come back up to here a little bit, that's what this syntax is about. It looks in the urls.py file for something that has this as the third parameter and then it replaces it, which in this case will be with uh, forward slash list vets. Okay, uh, another piece of information here is when you hit the submit button, it's gonna send these form variables to the path associated with um, list veterinarians, as I just showed in the urls.py file. And so let's go over to the um, view associated with that. So. Here's the view for list vets, um, list vets page view. Uh, not vets, not, did I say pets? I, I meant vets. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Anyway, it's been a long day already and it's still halfway through. At any rate, um, so, so through the uh, path, we're submitting to this page right here, our form variables. Now this right down here was here before in our document, but um, this part right here is new. And so what it does is if and only if this, this view is receiving a form post, it creates an empty um, veterinarian object, sets a couple of um, values or variables there as part of the object, saves the object. With the object saved, it's saved to the table of veterinarians. So then subsequently, when we come to our previously existing code, which says read everything from the database, this will now be in there. And then uh, shortly after, we'll display a web page and include in it all of the um, veterinarians that are currently in the table. All right, so let's go ahead and program this all out from scratch. So first thing we need to do is over in our templates area, we're going to add a file and we're going to call it add vet.html. So this is the uh, HTML page, the form for gathering the veterinarian name. So I'm going to copy and paste from my previous code. There it is. And I've already explained all of the components in there. So let's go ahead and do the next thing. So remember, every time we want to display an HTML template in a Django project, we need three things. We need the HTML page, we need a view, and we need a path in our urls.py file that um, you know, gives us a starting point. So let's uh, go on to our next piece, which is go over to our app and in views, let's create a view that's going to render this page. And so 
this is the page as it exists currently, and we don't have a function currently that displays the HTML page. And if I add this, uh, then I do have the inherent capability of displaying that particular page that I just created. So we're done there. Now let's go over to our urls.py. And we want to, first off, we can't render a page without having it um, imported first. So let's go ahead and include that new view that we just created. And then down here, I'm going to copy and paste because that makes it a little bit faster. All right, excellent. Now we should be able to run our website, type in forward slash add vet, and we should trigger this function which will display our HTML page. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So we'll type in python manage.py run server. All right, project is started come out here, load our page, and there we go. And we see some little notifications in the background saying that we just viewed our page. So it is working. So this is this is a great moment. We've been at this far. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and just view our previous page, which is list vets. There we go, there's our page of veterinarians. Now, um, let's go ahead and try and add something here. So I'll type in John Doe, and I'll hit Submit. And the way that this thing is programmed right now, it sends us over to the List Veterinarians page uh, after, uh, well, it just sends us over there, but let's look at what that is. Well, right now, all it does is display information. It doesn't do anything with the form variables that we've passed in. So we need to add in some additional code that's going to allow us to um, add our form post as an object to our database. So as always, to make things quick and easy, I'll do a little quick copying and pasting. So as part of this function, I paste in this. So if the form variables arrive here, it recognizes that. It will create a new object, save it, and then it'll display the page. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam. Okay, page reloads. Let's come back over here. Now let's go back and submit our form. Okay, perfect. So it created the, the object, the record in the database, and then it displayed it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, try that again. I'm going to click back. We'll make a Jane Doe this time. Perfect, so everything's working. All right, so in this video, you've learned how to take an existing project where you can, where you're looking at a list of um, veterinarians from a database table, and you've learned how to add a form that will add new veterinarians to the table that later on renders the list of veterinarians. Okay, well, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below, and I'll see you in the next video.